judgment in reverse. This is ignoring the call. What's the call? Well, spirits trying to close out a cycle of your life, put you on the path of a new beginning and a new journey and divinely orchestrating some kind of meeting that is going to change your life, Pisces, some kind of meeting that is going to change your life. But you're ignoring the call. There's an imbalance inside of you because you don't want to participate. There needs to be a personal transformation of the, 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 the attitude here so you can manifest properly, so your mind can be in the game and you can manifest properly. Spirit's trying to renew you. King of Cups in reverse, your emotional volatility, Four of Swords in reverse, is the reason for your lack of progress. Hey Pisces, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. What's up? How's it going? How's it shaking? How's everybody doing? I hope you made it through the holidays relatively unscathed. I am going to do a reading for Pisces because I feel the call, y'all. I feel the call to uh, spread some kind of message. Pisces needs to know something, and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it to you. I don't know what it's going to be. I look forward to this just like you guys do because I'm a Taurus sun, but I'm a Pisces moon, Pisces rising, and Pisces Venus. So Pisces is my alter ego. Taurus is the front man, but Pisces is the predominant um, influence in my life and my chart. So you guys, we're going to do a reading for the spicy Pisces out there. <laughs> All right, y'all, it's going to work like it always works. I'm going to shuffle. I'm going to pray. I'm going to lay out at least 15 cards. I'm going to talk about it as I clarify it. I'm going to confuse the heck out of you. I'm going to sew together a story and I'll read it to you. If the clarification process gets too lengthy or too in-depth, I will fast forward that particular part of the video, okay? These are going to be my clarifying cards. I'm going to switch things up. These are usually my root cards, right? The Tarot Illuminati. But I don't know. Today, for some reason, I just feel like using the good old-fashioned Rider weight for my root cards. And I will use these um, Tarot Illuminati for my clarifying cards, okay? All right, Pisces. Let's just get them mixed up a little bit more. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Dana. I am the Gypsy Psychic. I'm the Gypsy Psychic because I travel all around. I've taken a hiatus from traveling for about the past six months, but I'm fixing to get back to it. About to buy me a brand new truck and hit the road once again. So stand by for all of that good stuff. So pull up a chair, okay? Pull up a chair, get snuggly, get you a blanket, get you a pillow, put your earbuds in, get you something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke, kick your feet up, and let's jump into some kind of awesome tarot card reading for Pisces, okay? Let's just jump right in and see what the heck is going on. So I do this about once every six weeks. If you like what you see here, you might want to subscribe, might want to hit the dinghy bell so you do get notifications that I'm posting because like I said, I'm not here very often. And if you want to, if you want to come on back, then you're going to want to know when I post. Okay. All right. Those of y'all that are old timers, the OGs of the Gypsy Psychic, maybe even back in the day when it was Deep Thoughts with Dana. Welcome back. Y'all are my friends. You're my YouTube fam. Hunker down and let's, let's do this, okay? Let's jump in. So Spirit, Source, Universal Energy. I have the Collective of Pisces with me, Spirit. What does Pisces need to know? What does Pisces need to know and understand? What's coming towards Pisces? What does Pisces need to look out for? Four, what does Pisces need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their life for their best and highest good? Spirit, please use me as a clean and clear vessel by which to not only interpret these messages, but to explain them as well. Please give me the eyes to see and the ears to hear what it is that the message is for Pisces. Please tell me where the stopping point is. I will cut three times and I will pull straight from the top, Spirit. What is it that you want to say 
to Pisces spirit. Where is the stopping point for Pisces? Where? Okay, right there. All right. Let's cut them three times, you guys, and see what we get. Let's go. Got to wait for that pull, right? Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Bottom of the deck is death. Right on. Fantastic. Card of Scorpio. But nevertheless, it is about endings, changes, and transformations in your life. First card out is the Seven of Cups in Reverse. This is uh, diversionary tactics. Sometimes it can be about temptation or illusion. The Three of Cups, reunion, celebration, joy, like-minded people, meeting someone, being on the same page with someone or, or people. The Four of Cups in Reverse, apathetic or stubborn. The Ten of Swords in Reverse, Renewal, Regeneration, Sometimes Inevitable Endings. The Six of Pentacles in Reverse. In the upright, it's about the giving, the receiving, the sharing of prosperity in life. In the reverse, it's about not doing that. The Queen of Cups, Feelings, Your Feelings, Pisces, right there in that card. Um, this is you being in touch with your emotions, in touch with your intuition, um, and prepared to move forward in an emotionally stable and controlled manner. <coughs> I got the sniffles, you guys. So um, don't mind me as I sniffle and cough and hack and sneeze through this whole reading. All right. You can't catch it. Don't worry. Um, and also this sound right here. Listen. That's me smoking my vape, all right? I'm not like on a ventilator or anything. I had somebody say, do you have breathing problems? No, no, I don't. I just smoke my vape. So the devil, some kind of toxicity, some kind of a, attachment that's a restriction to your growth. The four of pentacles in reverse in the center of your reading. The whole reading revolves around this. This is about self-protection in your sense of security. Nine of Cups in reverse, emotional dissatisfaction, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, financial loss, um, the loss of security, the loss of identity, the Eight of Cups in reverse, walking away from something, hopelessness, aimlessly drifting, the Hermit, some kind of soul searching, introspection, it's an invitation. And note that it's right underneath this devil, so whatever this is in your life, Spirit is saying, so let's sit and talk about it. Knight of Pentacles in reverse, stuck. Queen of Swords in reverse, uh, angry, emotionally unavailable, in denial, possibly. Sometimes it's about dishonesty. The Six of Cups in reverse, stuck in the past, unrealistic to reconcile something from your past. The Magician, manifestation, what do you want? What do you want? Card number one, lesson number one of life, Ma manifestation where your thoughts go, your life will follow. The tower in reverse, either a personal transformation or averting disaster. Temperance in reverse, maybe a personal transformation when you balance something that is an imbalance. Judgment in reverse, self-doubt, deciding to not decide, bad decisions. The hanged man in reverse, resistance, delays. The emperor in reverse, controlling, domineering, inflexible, a need for self-discipline. Page of Cups in reverse, possibly emotional immaturity, but it's definitely a creative block. The Ten of Wands, some kind of burden, struggle. The King of Cups, feelings, possibly the counterpart to this Queen of Cups. Two of Cups in reverse, imbalanced relationships, breakups. The High Priestess in reverse, something being kept from you, you su suppressing or oppressing something inside of you. It's being possibly disconnected from your intuition or your higher power. The seven of wands in reverse, overwhelmed, um, possibly giving up. The five of swords in reverse, maybe be open to change, resentment. The page of swords, some kind of new thought pattern or communication. The moon, struggling with your subconscious. The knight of swords, possibly more communication. The fool in reverse, talking about... Uh, talking about foolish, naive, reckless, page of pentacles in reverse, and inability to manifest in the ace of wands, an inspired, passionate new beginning, and justice. Wow, look at that to the hierophant. 
the king of swords interesting strength nice the chariot phenomenal all right you guys let's just see what's going on here let's see what this message is about let me make these a little bit easier for y'all to see for you ocd people out there sorry but i'm not ocd and i'm good with that all right so let's see what the heck's going on here so the seven of cups in reverse first card out sets the tone for my whole spread okay what is this seven of cups in reverse spirit what is this about temptation illusion diversionary tactics i think it's diversionary tactics myself let's see what we get so the devil in reverse releasing limiting beliefs the queen of pentacles uh, possibly sitting in your power um, possibly holding title in someone else's life maybe marriage the eight of cups talking about um, abandonment withdrawal escapism to the ace of pentacles the manifestation of some kind of new prosperity so the eight of cups that's going to be pivotal that is going to be about hopelessness i think hopelessness yeah hopelessness for sure all right so the three of cups meeting someone celebration rejoicing um, followed, preceded, I'm sorry, by the Ace of Pentacles, so understood, to the Four of Cups in reverse, apathetic. Apathetic to meeting someone, possibly. Hmm, okay. You want to tell me what the apathy is about, Spirit? What is the apathy about? Temperance in reverse. This is something that needs to be healed inside of you. Something that needs to be balanced out. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Look at this the ten of swords right in inevitable endings the seven of swords betrayal deception deceit the seven of wands in reverse um overwhelmed self-protective and the queen of cups in reverse hurt feelings hurt feelings emotional codependency sometimes six of cups yeah yep 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 okay to the six of pentacles in reverse understood so tell me what the queen of cups to the devil is about strength right on okay so this queen of cups you have to turn yourself in the upright right here pisces and gain some strength the devil tell me about this so what's your baggage here what's the self-protection what's the devil the hierophant in reverse you need to reevaluate your belief system the six of wands in reverse about a lack of success or reward four of pentacles in reverse self-protection justice what's in your best interest your accountability about accountability ace of cups a new beginning in love and there's that three of cups again right threes are about achievement growth expression All right, Pisces, this is what's going on, okay? This is what's going on. All right. This is a big one, you guys. Really, like, like get comfortable. Don't listen to this half-ass, right? Because I know I do the same thing, right? Don't listen to this half-ass. Save it for later and go back and listen to it if you can't listen to it sincerely right now, okay? Like, for real, okay? I don't care how many views it gets. If you can't listen to it in its entirety right now and pay attention, then come back to it sometime when you can, because there's a huge message here. Okay. Huge message. All right. The seven of cups in reverse. First card out sets the tone for the whole reading. What is it? It's diversionary tactics, right? Seven of cups in the upright is options, choices, decisions. In the reverse, it's avoiding those. Okay. Diversionary tactics to what? The three of cups what's the three of cups it's so social okay it's it's being social i asked for a long time um and and got the chariot okay the seven of trump okay i got the chariot so the chariot is about going out going forward the three of cups is about being social okay now i want to point out there could be a particular pisces out there that's being invited to something and this the chariot is saying definitely go okay you're being invited to something you're you definitely go seven of cups you're of uh, diversionary tactics what are you avoiding socializing or this particular engagement okay 
the devil in reverse. Major Arcana. Spirit says you need to release your limiting beliefs and detach yourself from the diversionary tactics that are keeping you holed up in the house, maybe isolated, maybe maybe too introverted, not being social, you're walled off, you're keeping yourself excluded, you are avoiding socializing in general or socializing in a specific situation, maybe both. Devil in Reverse says, release your limiting beliefs and detach yourself from your diversionary tactics. Queen of Pentacles. This is who you want to be, okay? It's, it's not so much that everybody out there wants to be, you know, married and the steady, stable Queen of Pentacles, right? But the Queen of Pentacles is an archetype that is representing security. Um, it's representing partnership, right? It's the, it's the married, stable couple of the tarot. And what this says is that if you are looking to be this, if you're looking to be the queen of pentacles, right? Eight of cups, you cannot continue to withdraw yourself from the social aspect of life. Ace of pentacles, says the manifestation of new opportunity. And that's where this changes, right? It's the manifestation of new opportunity. Either you are being invited to something and your knee-jerk reaction is, hell no, I'm not going to go be around all those people. No way can I go be around all those people. Not only is Rona all over the place, but I'm an introverted person and being around too many people makes me uncomfortable. That's how I am personally, right? And Pisces being highly sensitive and very empathic and the oldest sign, which means you're the, the, the most spiritual sign of the Zodiac, right? So oftentimes Pisces are kind of loner people because they don't really fit in every place else. Either you're being invited to a situation or you're avoiding socialization. The Ace of Pentacles says there's a manifestation of new opportunity in front of you. Chariot says go towards it. Here's Pisces with the Four of Cups in reverse being completely apathetic, stubbornly rejecting and refusing to engage. Refusing to engage. Temperance in reverse, Major Arcana comes on top of you and says this is an imbalance inside of you. This is something that you need to take a look at. This is something that you need to fix because being apathetic to, to get what you want, to be the Queen of Pentacles, you have to expose yourself somehow, some way right? Perhaps this is a date that somebody's being asked out on. Maybe you haven't gone out on a date in a long, long time. You also might want to check and make sure that this person isn't married also, okay? Like for real, for real. Anyway, that's a side note, okay? Um, maybe you're going out on a date, right? And you haven't gone out for a long time and you're like, no, nah, I just don't even know how to freaking act on a date, right? apathetic, stubborn, rejecting it, temperance. It. See, if this was your reading, we could zero in and nail down exactly what this is. But it's a general reading, so I, I really don't know what it is or who it's for. Okay, so it's, it's kind of frustrating on my end. The Four of Cups in reverse, apathy. Temperance in reverse, something that you need to take a look at. This is an imbalance inside of you. What's the imbalance? Well, the imbalance is this Ten of Swords in reverse right here. Inevitable endings to the Six of Pentacles in reverse. An inevitable ending to the giving and the receiving of prosperity in life. This is what keeps Pisces from, from having a desire to engage in any kind of social or romantic situation. Okay? Okay, it always ends, right? Apathetic to it, it always ends. Somebody's always trying to get one over to the Seven of Swords. It's all betrayal, deception, deceit, trying to get away with something. It's futile because it always ends in some kind of 
turmoil. Seven of Wands in reverse. Overly protective. Protecting the hell out yourself, Pisces. Giving up also is part of this card, right? Completely giving up, protecting yourself. It all turns out the same way all the time anyway. I'm just not interested. Queen of Cups in reverse. Withdrawal of feelings. Um, it's also emotional insecurity, which I think is the root of this. Somewhere along the way, this Pisces um, has given up that there is hope that they could ever meet someone that could be better than their own company. To the Six of Cups. Warm fuzzies, family, home, memories, nostalgia, right? What this goes back to is one of two things. Either this is your childhood, Pisces, that set you up for failure in your relationships and you see it all just comes to an end anyway and there's always all kinds of fuckery going on and I need to protect myself from this and not invest any feelings in anyone six of cups because my childhood taught me this taught me to be this way and that's a whole nother tarot card reading okay that's a whole nother thing could dive deep into that but it's a whole that's a personal reading six of cups can also be that you are content and happy right where you are um, your four walls are warm and fuzzy and you're content and happy okay all right queen of cups This is Pisces, right? Pisces, 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 all day long, Pisces. The Queen of Cups is someone that is emotionally secure, calm, cool, collected, intuitive, compassionate, honest, and fair. It is the embodiment of Pisces, right? On point with her intuition, clarified by strength. What this is saying is that this Pisces right here needs to get a hold of themselves and stop being this Pisces right here. Instead of being the queen of cups in reverse, you need to gather strength. How do we gather strength? Well, we look at what the problem is. We grab it by the horns. We wrestle it to the ground and we choke it out. That's how we get strong. That's how you get courageous by facing what it is that is the problem in your life. Okay. Okay. What spirit says, okay, there's Pisces, the queen of cups. Spirit comes on top of you and says, get strong, get strong, get strong. Stop. What's the problem that you have to face? What's the thing with the courage, right? It's inevitable endings, always getting screwed over somehow, some way. It's futile. It always ends. It's always, it always just turns to shit. Overly protective, giving up. Queen of Cups in reverse, Pisces not participating, Six of Cups, either this is, this is rooted in your childhood or you're just warm and fuzzy right where you are, okay? Spirit says you need to get that Pisces in the upright and get control of yourself because your, your emotional wounding back here, inevitable endings, futile, always getting screwed over, all kinds of fuckery, right? Your emotional wounding is an attachment that is a, that is a, that it is a restriction to your growth, the devil, and it's toxic to your life. Could this be the person who caused you this or the people or the situation or the energies that caused you this? Sure, it could, but this is you, Pisces. It's an attachment that's a restriction to your growth and it's toxic to your life. Major Arcana calling you out. The Hierophant in reverse, Major Arcana, calling you out, says you need to reevaluate your belief system. Everything that is good and right and proper in this Six of Cups energy, everything that is good and right and proper in, in, in your little comfort zone, right? You have to reevaluate your belief system because you're blocking yourself from ever having the kind of commitment that you want in the Queen of Pentacles energy right there. Six of Wands in reverse. 
lack of success, a lack of reward. That's what the attachment to the restriction is. The, re the, the attachment to the restriction, the, yeah, that. <laughs> That's what the devil card is, right? It is, it's, it's, it's a lack of success in your life, in what you want, which is the queen of pentacles. The four of pentacles in reverse, self-protection, justice, what's always in your best interest. It is universal law. It's karmic law. It's always what's in your best interest. It's also accountability. Okay. Accountability to what? Well, spirituality, because it is a major arcana to your spiritual journey. And if you are a Pisces that's saying, spirit, please lead my life and show me the direction that I need to go. If you're praying for some kind of relationship to surface in your life, if you want to be the queen of pentacles in that kind of, of, of empire in your life, right? Solid, secure, money in the bank kind of feeling, right? If you want that, then you have to engage socially. You have to go on that date. You have to go to that party. You have to go to that dinner. You have to go to so-and-so's house. It's divine orchestration, but they're telling you that you need to expose yourself and get yourself in a position where justice can take place, where divine orchestration can take place in your life. Because if you ask for it and ask for it and manifest and manifest, but you don't put the action behind it, you're kind of tying the universe's hands, right? Justice, your accountability to what? To dealing with the attachment that is the restriction to your growth. What is that? It all sucks. It all sucks and I don't want anything to do with it. It just all sucks. But yet... Inside of myself, I really want to be a queen of pentacles to a king of pentacles. I really want that, right? You got to release your limiting beliefs. Detach from the diversionary tactics of keeping yourself isolated somehow, some way. That's justice. It's what's in your best interest. Your accountability to dealing with this attitude over here is in your best interest. It's a bad attitude. Is it warranted? Maybe. Maybe it is, but it's a bad attitude because you want what you want over here, but yet what you're actually manifesting with your internal combustion is not what you are asking for. Does that make any sense? I'll explain in a minute. Justice, Ace of Cups an emotional rebirth, a new way of feeling, a new beginning in love to the three of cups. Rejoicing, celebrating, meeting people. It's about reuniting. Maybe um, you're going to come across paths with someone that you have known before. Perhaps if you go to that dinner or that family get together or that barbecue or that whatever, maybe you're going to run into someone that you used to know that not that you had a relationship with, not someone from your past, but someone that you used to know because the six of cups can reflect that as well, right? Nostalgia, memories, reuniting, with someone from your past. So perhaps it is someone from your past that spirit is trying to line you up for, but you're resisting and they're, they're trying to tell you that you need to make yourself available and cooperate so they can bring you what it is you've been asking for. Okay. All right. Hold on a minute. Four of Pentacles in reverse in the center of this reading. Self-protection. Why? Nine of Cups in reverse. Emotional dissatisfaction, right? And that's what you're doing up here with the all, with the sour attitude and it all sucks. You're protecting yourself from being in a state of emotional dissatisfaction because everything inevitably always comes to an end is what you're saying. 
Eight of Swords, right? This is a self-imposed mental imprisonment. And this is what you're manifesting. Manifestation with the magician begins in the mind. Where your thoughts go, your life will follow. Right now, your thoughts are in a state of self-protection and lockdown because you don't want to deal with any kind of emotional upset that might come from a relationship of some sort. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Ten of Pentacles in reverse to the Ten of Cups in the upright. I asked about this, okay, with, with, with a different deck of cards. I asked about the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and I got the Ten of Cups in the upright, okay? So this, this is completion, okay? Ten of Pentacles in reverse, I think, is talking about you opening yourself up and maybe not pouring yourself into your prosperity as a diversionary tactic and opening yourself up to some kind of emotional fulfillment. I don't feel like this Ten of Pentacles is financial loss. I don't feel like it's the loss of anything. I feel like what this card is saying, because it's clarified by the Ten of Cups, is it's time to stop focusing on being in a good place and begin to open yourself up to emotional fulfillment as well. Because there are brand new beginnings and brand new journeys ahead of you with the fool. The universe talks about the end of one cycle and the beginning of a new cycle. This cycle of your life where you're, you're not, you're lonely. This cycle of your life is closing. And a new cycle of your life is beginning to the star. This is understanding that there is a connection to a divine intelligence that we don't always understand, but we have hope and faith that they are going to lead us in a purposeful direction in our life. It's divine orchestration. It's hope, faith, purpose, renewal. Okay, so there's a brand new beginning waiting for you. If you will stop focusing on yourself, what I see is someone that's hustling. Okay, I see someone who's hustling, who's just working hard and maybe dabbling in a little bit of crypto here and there and just trying to set yourself up in a good foundation, in a good position. And you are, you are using your... energy, okay? You're using your energy for the Ten of Pentacles. And now Spirit is saying you are in a position now where you need to be focusing on the Ten of Cups, emotional fulfillment instead of financial fulfillment. New beginnings with the Fool, a brand new beginning, a brand new journey, the universe. This cycle of your life needs to close because a new cycle of your life is waiting to open. The chariot is going to take you there. And the star. And understanding that there is a connection to a universal intelligence that knows the end game that we can't see. We don't need to know the end game. This is divine orchestration. It's having hope and faith that the universe is going to lead us in the direction of purpose in our life. And what these cards are saying is, damn it, Pisces, we're trying. We are trying to lead you to where it is that you need to go so you can get what it is that you, that you crave. But what you're manifesting is holding you back. Change your thoughts, change your life. Eight of Cups in reverse, walking away, aimlessly drifting, hopelessness. This is Pisces' emotional withdrawal and hopelessness that they will ever find someone who can be their King of Pentacles. The King and Queen of Pentacles are the married monogamous. You don't have to be married, right, on paper, right? But it's, it's a mutually monogamous, dedicated relationship. And 
each of them has their own identity and their own their own chips that they bring to the table. And they rule next to each other side by side in everything that is rooted in love and money. And that's true. The hermit. This is an invite from spirit, soul searching, introspection. Spirit is saying, sit with me and let's talk. Talk about what? Well, the seven of pentacles. Seven is a number of reflection and assessment, reconsidering motivations, looking at your own motivations, thinking how it is you're going to do something differently, right? That's why the eight of pentacles, I wish it was here, I would show you. The eight of pentacles is a dude that's working hard on something, right? Because in the seven of pentacles, he had the aha moment. Hermit, hermit says, sit with me. Sit with me and I will give you an aha moment. We'll work it out. You will see the chariot in reverse. What is, what is your opposition? Why you're not going in the direction that you need to go? Two of swords in reverse. This is confusion and indecision. Judgment in reverse. This is your self-doubt. It's also deciding to not decide is a bad decision because you have some kind of invitation here. Somebody is inviting you to something or where someone that you already know or knew or maybe an acquaintance just like cross paths a long time ago is going to be there and you're going to renew your friendship with this person. Okay. I want to point out, I don't have not one card about love or romance on the table yet. So this does not have to be love or romance. It can be, but it can also be a long lost friend, a long lost relative, somebody with your DNA that you found on one of those website things, right? But nevertheless, spirit is trying to divorce, divinely orchestrate this meeting with this person and they need you to cooperate because you're, you're manifesting in the wrong direction. You're manifesting self-imposed mental imprisonment of self-protection, avoiding any kind of emotional involvement at all. And Spirit is saying, you got to engage so we can do what it is that we're trying to do for you, right? Judgment in reverse. Deciding to not decide is a bad decision. It also talks about your self-doubt, which is all over this reading, right? The eight of wands in reverse. Um, not taking any action. Three of wands says, begin to prepare and think in a different way. Something's coming towards you. Again, another three, Pisces. Something is coming towards you that you need to get prepared for. To the King of Swords in reverse. King of Swords in reverse is angry. It's a misuse of power. Let me work this out right here. Hold on just a second. So angry, misuse of power. Let's see what that root card was right there. Okay. So this all clarifies the hermit, right? Hermit to the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. What are you going to talk about in the hermit? What you've been stuck in right? What are you going to talk about in the hermit energy? The queen of swords in reverse, your denial, honestly, denial that, that you possibly are, are feeling this or seeing this. You see, this is your subconscious mind. Okay. So all y'all that are sitting there going, oh, no, 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 no. I'm not pulling your consciousness. I'm pulling your subconscious mind. I'm a channeler, right? And I'm pulling your subconscious mind. So Give this some time to um, digest and ruminate before you get all defensive about it because these cards uh, don't lie, okay? Knight of Pentacles in reverse, stuck. What are you going to talk about being stuck in what? The Queen of Swords in reverse, emotionally unavailable, okay? Then this clarifies that. So the King of Swords in reverse is what we leave with, which is misusing your power. What's your power? Well, your power, misusing your power, is the manifestation aspect, okay? You, you have the ability to manifest a beautiful reality, but you have to stop 
thinking that everything comes to an inevitable ending. You have to stop keeping yourself trapped in your mind in a state of self-protection because everybody's full of fuckery, okay? That's what you're manifesting in your life. And Spirit's like, you need to start manifesting in a different way. You're misusing your power, Pisces. The hangman in reverse. And because of this, there is resistance to the divine orchestration that's trying to take place in your life. The moon, all these major arcanas, the moon, Pisces, right? Talking about the struggle with the intuition, the struggle with the subconscious, the struggle between the spiritual and the ego to the Prince of, Pen Prince of Pentacles in reverse. Stuck. This is what you're stuck in. Stuck in, in the, the emotional aspect of it. Stuck protecting yourself and guarding yourself from being emotionally available to anyone because of self-protection. Hermit says, sit with me. We're going to talk about all this. We're going to work all this out. Sit with me and we're going to work all this out. Six of cups in reverse, stuck in the past can't get over whatever happened in the past. Like I said earlier, your childhood, maybe a divorce relationship after relationship. Prince of swords communication, maybe 10 of wands burden struggle, the end of a burden and struggle. The Four of Cups, okay, it's not communication. Four of Cups to the Prince of Cups in reverse. Hold on, let me work this out. To the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, that Nine of Pentacles goes back to that Ten of Pentacles. Okay, okay. All right. So what this is saying is the Prince of Swords. This is about making a decision and executing it. In the mind, though, right? It's not, it's not the execution in the physical. It's not the execution in the, the ego or the inspirational. It's not the execution in the emotions. It's execution of a thought pattern. Wrapping your mind around something and executing it. To the Ten of Wands. This is the burden and the struggle that this person has carried for a long time. But now he's at the end of it. Unfortunately for him, the next, the next leg of the journey is pretty difficult too, right? But what's the difficult part? The difficult part is coming to terms with your walled on offness, why you're walled off, what happened to you in the past, dealing with it, scrubbing that old wound out and exposing it to some air because it's been stuffed down inside of you. You got to air that shit out and let it, and let it breathe. It's festering. It's festering in your mind. And it's keeping you from your best and highest good. Okay? Wrapping your mind around a decision. The Ten of Wands. This Ten of Wands is about um, the burden and the struggle, right? To the Four of Cups. Contemplation. Reevaluation. The, the Hand of God is giving you the Fourth Cup that's going to bring stability, being the number four, into your emotional processes. You are focusing on the three cups, which is all of this bullshit, right? That's what you're focusing on. Don't want to do, don't want to be involved, don't want to have anything to do with any of it. Just leave me alone and I am just happy as I can be. I am. I'm good. I'm happy. I, I'm, I'm all good. I don't want any of this relationship stuff. And the fourth cup is this information of what spirits trying to divinely orchestrate into your life, but they need you to participate to the Prince of Cups in reverse. This is being disconnected from your feelings, disconnected from your emotions. Nine of Pentacles, self-sufficient, independent. You're doing good. You're, you're fine. It's, and that's part of the problem. And that goes back to that 10 of pentacles in reverse back here, right? It's part of the problem is that you are doing fine. You're doing just fine. I wouldn't even say that you're lonely. You're doing fine. 
but you're but but there is a significant meeting that needs to take place in your life and you have to expose yourself to participate and you have to deal with these repressed emotions and these emotional woundings so spirit can move in your life okay nine of pentacles self-sufficient independent nine of cups emotional fulfillment right you're you're good prince of wands taking all kinds of inspired action all kinds of inspired action to be the nine of pentacles self-sufficient independent to be emotionally fulfilled right it's not like you're wandering around lonely you're good and you just simply don't want someone in your life i think a lot of you that's the thing is that you're you're trucking right along and you just really don't want to share your life with anyone huh interesting the spirit says there's destiny there's destiny to be fulfilled please make yourself available so they can work in your life the hermit soul searching and introspection sit with me and i will show you the princess of wands what to explore and discover what direction to go where to go how to do it whatever this is for this particular person right it's general i don't know but the hermit says spirit says sit with me and do some soul searching and some introspection princess of wands the definition is exploration discovery excitement enthusiasm okay can it be about communication yeah because it's a page but nevertheless it's about enthusiasm excitement exploration and discovery sit with spirit and they will show you exactly what direction it is that you need to go to get done what needs to get done so they can have this divine orchestration in your life to the magician manifestation remember i kept saying you're manifesting in the wrong direction spirit says manifest with sincerity your desire to be the queen of pentacles because that's what started out right there right you you want to be this queen of pentacles but you are so locked down in a state of self-protection that becoming the queen of pentacles isn't going to happen for you spirit says begin to manifest differently tower in reverse a personal transformation temperance in reverse right the imbalance temperance in reverse is right there too right the imbalance inside of you the tower which is all of this right here right inevitable endings fuckery all of that kind of stuff right that was the tower in the reverse it's about having a personal transformation from this tower moment dealing with these repressed emotions getting justice inside of yourself and pushing forward through a personal transformation and beginning to manifest what needs to be manifested instead of instead of being all caught up in your head manifesting a blockage in your life judgment in reverse your self-doubt um bad decisions maybe all this bad decision up here painful lessons right the hangman in reverse resistance the emperor in reverse good grief talking about inflexibility control manipulation the page of cups in reverse emotional immaturity burden and struggle king of cups two of cups in reverse the high priestess in reverse yeah self-protection again okay all right what's this all about <clears throat> temperance in reverse judgment in reverse i want to pull a card on judgment in reverse we have massive major arcana one right after the other um i'll use i use this deck spirit tell me of what judgment in reverse is about the tower in reverse temperance in reverse and judgment in reverse the personal transformation in regards to the imbalance that is um 
happening here to judgment in reverse. Bad decision, deciding to not decide. Ten of swords in reverse, inevitable endings. Regeneration, tell me more. Tell me more. Ignoring the call is judgment in reverse as well. Okay. Imbalance, ignoring the call. Ten of swords in reverse for reju re re rejuvenation and regeneration. King of Cups in reverse, emotional volatility, uh huh, and a lack of progress with the Four of Swords. Okay, so the personal transformation, right? The imbalance inside of you, which is what we've talked about. There's an issue, right? And you're you're real resistant to engaging somehow, some way. Judgment in reverse. This is ignoring the call. What's the call? Well, spirits trying to close out a cycle of your life, put you on the path of a new beginning and a new journey and divinely orchestrating some kind of meeting that is going to change your life, Pisces. Some kind of meeting that is going to change your life. But you're ignoring the call. There's an imbalance inside of you because you don't want to participate. There needs to be a personal transformation of the, 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 the attitude here so you can manifest properly, so your mind can be in the game and you can manifest properly. Spirit's trying to renew you. King of Cups in reverse, your emotional volatility, Four of Swords in reverse, is the reason for your lack of progress. For reals. The hangman in reverse. This is the resistance. Instead of pausing, taking a step back and reevaluating a situation in order to glean a new perspective, you're resistant to that because you are dead set shut down that everybody sucks. Everybody sucks. And I don't want anything to do with it. Spirit says you need to change that because we're trying to change your entire life, Pisces. The emperor in reverse egocentric, self-centered, a need for self-discipline. Perhaps this is the kind of person that you have experience with. Uh huh. And also this emperor in reverse tells me you might have some kind of daddy issues too. Maybe daddy issues that you're resisting to look at with the hangman in reverse. Huh? Nevertheless, this emperor in reverse is inflexible. He lacks self-control. He lacks self-discipline. Page of Cups in reverse talks about a creative block. So yeah, for sure, right? This is the experience that you've had with, with relationships in the past. Male or female, it doesn't make a flying flip or anything in between. Nobody cares, okay? Do your thing, do you, but you're the emperor, the person that you have had interactions with in the past that made you have this bad taste in your mouth right here was an asshole. Okay. And they damaged you emotionally. Could have been your childhood. Okay. 10 of wands. You've carried this burden for a long time. King of cups. This is, this is an independent, emotionally fulfilled person. Okay. Two of cups in reverse imbalanced relationships, high priestess in reverse. This is Pisces, not engaging. Let me explain. I'll explain. The seven of wands in reverse, self-protection. The five of swords in reverse, all kinds of resentment. Okay. Okay. All kinds of resentment. Okay. Asshole or yeah. And we, you know, women can be assholes too, for real asshole damaged you emotionally has been a burden and a struggle ever since you've come a long way you got yourself straight you're good in your feelings you're good with yourself two of cups in reverse and when it comes to an imbalanced relationship if it ain't the way that it's supposed to be then i don't want anything to do with it is what this two of cups to the king of cups in the upright says for real I don't want any kind of imbalanced bullshit in my life. High priestess in reverse. Pisces, withdrawing. Withdrawing, disconnected, not participating. High priestess in reverse is also saying that you're ignoring your intuition because spirit's trying to lead you in a direction that you're resistant to. 
out of self-protection with the seven of wands in reverse and lots of resentment with the five of swords in reverse. Now, I want to get it to the bottom of this right here, okay? So the page of swords, here, let's put it over here. Page of swords to the moon, to the knight of swords, to the fool in reverse. All right. This is, I want to get into this right here. Hold on a second. All right. The page of swords. Look at that. Look at that. First card out, the wheel of fortune. Okay. Didn't even get to shuffle, man. It just came right to the top. All right. Page of swords. Communication. Action in the mind to the moon, struggling with the subconscious. Look at fucking that. I kid you not, Pisces. The three of cups, again, reuniting, celebrating, getting together with people. Princess of cups opens the door for some kind of emotional creation. Spirit's trying to lead you here, but you are resisting and resisting and resisting, Pisces, Pay attention. Pay attention. Spirit wants to drastically change your life. The wheel of fortune, divine orchestration. This is a turning point in your destiny. There is some kind of communication. Again, an invitation with the page of swords, an invitation to go somewhere, do something, be around some kind of people, engage in some kind of function that you must, must go to Pisces. You must engage, you must go, you must explore it. You, you must. The moon, struggling with the subconscious, struggling with the intuition. Yep, look at that, to the nine of pentacles. Because you don't want to lose your independence. You've made it through all kinds of fuckery, and you're really good right now. And, you know, maybe you don't want to share, quite frankly, honestly. Maybe you don't want to share right? You're doing good. Got your own place, got your own furniture, got your own stuff. And you know, you get into a relationship and you're going to have to start sharing a bed, right? You know, I don't know about anybody else, but I, I, I'm not a snuggler. I, when it's time to go to sleep, I want to roll over and go to sleep. And I do not want to hear you snoring. I don't want to feel you getting up, going to the bathroom. I like sleeping alone, honestly. I'm the weirdo that could have two totally separate bedrooms, to tell you the truth, for real. So I feel the Nine of Pentacles in the moon energy. I do, right? I watch what I want to watch. I do what I want to do. I eat what I want to eat. I go where I want to go any time of the day or night that I ever want to do anything. And to have some kind of a relationship, to make myself available to get in a relationship when they're all a bunch of fuckery all the time anyway, why? I mean, I feel this spread. I really do. Why? Spirit says there's a turning point in your destiny. You have to participate. You have to participate. There's an invitation of some sort for a get together of some sort that's going to put you in a position of emotional creation to the wheel of fortune and it's going to be a turning point in your destiny the knight of swords if you don't respond the fool in reverse spirit can't work in your life that won't be divine orchestration and you will not be able to step out into this new journey and this new beginning that spirit is trying to orchestrate for your life Two of Swords, look at that. You sure are at a serious crossroads right now. You sure are at a serious crossroads. I hope my phone don't die before I'm done with this. It's about to die. Page of Pentacles in reverse. An inability to man... Nope, 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 nope. I was going to say an inability to manifest, but it's not. Page of Pentacles in reverse is about immediate short-term focus. What's the immediate short-term focus? The Ace of Wands engaging in some kind of inspired, passionate new beginning in your life, Pisces. To justice, be accountable for your issues, clean house, and prepare yourself to go out and meet this divinely orchestrated person that is meant to take you into the next chapter of your life. It's your justice to the Hierophant. Commitment marriage, contracts, agreements, 
King of Swords, use some logic, use some reasoning, draw a line in the sand, and don't let the past dictate your future. Be strong. Be courageous. You can do this. Boom. And the chariot's going to take you where you need to go. Chariot, chariot, going to take you where you need to go. Reflecting and assessing, putting in the self-control, the willpower, and the determination to take the actions that are necessary to lead you towards success. Boom. The door opens, Pisces gets in, and you go straight to brand new beginning, brand new journey, the end of one cycle, the beginning of a new cycle, hope, faith, purpose, renewal, divine orchestration in your life, divine orchestration in your life. But Pisces is like, nah, man, I don't want to share. I don't want to give it up. I'm doing good. All this is just bullshit. I don't want to be emotionally vulnerable. And spirit says, stop focusing on the pentacles and start focusing on your emotional fulfillment. Because spirit is giving you the opportunity to become the queen of pentacles. New manifestation is right around the corner, Pisces. This is a beautiful reading. Get out there, socialize, do things, Pisces. Make yourself available. Respond to this invitation. Go to this party. Go to the meeting. Get together with whomever it is because there's someone I think that you're going to come into contact with that at one point you knew. And it's going to be like a reuniting kind of thing. And there's going to be, you are destined to meet this person. And this person is directly associated with this brand new cycle of your life. Wow, Pisces, that was awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Fantastic. Pisces, I hope this helps somebody. Remember, the only way to know your true story is to get your own cards read. You can hit me up at thegypsypsychic.com or anybody else. I don't care. But if you have if you have things about this that you want to get to the bottom of, you need to have your own cards read. All right, my friends. Namaste.